Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a guy who's got his eye of Belial on the prize of Belial, Gary Butterfield. Happy Snyder Cut Trailer Day, Will. Hey, Gary, happy Snyder Cut Trailer to you. I was so excited, uh, you know, when the Joker was all making his Seinfeld jokes, Mm -hmm. uh, and then suddenly... Them sucker punch girls showed up and started kicking the shit out of him. I know. Finally, baby doll, angel, lipstick. I, I don't mean, know the name two, of the two was really good, man. Two getting two was really good. I I, I don't I know that I got one. <laughs> I think I, angel's probably one of them, but I mean it's a good guess. Yeah, it's a really good guess. Starla. Um, it's it, it tough, remains. We're up. We're coming up on Jennifer. the tenth. We're coming up on the tenth anniversary of uh, sucker punch. Oh. It is it is so wild that everybody at Warner Brothers watched Sucker Punch and then we're like, mm-hmm. yeah, this guy can run our Superman movies. Yeah, this seems like Superman to me. Yeah, this um, is kind of a kind of a fetishy fever dream that has the bare coverage of feminism attached to it. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's let him take let's care give him of Watchmen about... and let's give him Batman. Well, he did Watchmen before, I think. Oh, before Sucker Punch. Yeah, yeah. That might have been what they were looking at as well. I, well, sure, but then he did make Sucker Punch. He did make Sucker You can't argue with that. If there's one thing that's true about the Schneider cut, is that he cut Sucker Punch. Yeah, uh, I've, I've never actually watched Sucker Punch. I saw it in the theaters. Wow! Who Whose yeah. idea was that? Uh, kind a of spouse? Like a joint, a jo- joint collaboration between me and an ex-spouse. Yeah. It was our little baby. Um, <laughs> no, we I just like the, the trailers, and I remember liking uh, 300. Because there was a time and a place to like you 300. Sure. You know, I mean, uh, you know, I say I've talked a lot of shit about Zack Snyder. His uh, Dawn of the Dead uh, remake is really good. It's fun. It's like a good action nor movie. You yeah. Know? Uh, I liked that. So there's a time where I was like, I like this dude. Uh, once a, once upon then, a. Then I decided to go see Sucker Punch and I was very confused by it. Um, it's a very confusing movie. Yeah. Very co- Gary uh, has an aphasia where he says confused when he means rock hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We jerked each other off during the movie. The other Congratulations. Last Morissette wrote a song about it. <laughs> Wait, can we uh, can we be very clear about let's 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 identify some pronouns there. The we in that uh, sentence Will did and not I, refer. <laughs> Will and I jerked each other off and Just, Alanis Morissette wrote a song. About it. I have never it's felt called more everything de- guppy. It's a B-side. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to gup. Yep. To grab a wad of gup and, you know. <laughs> oh, that's getting a little red hot chili peppers there. Holster up. <laughs> grab a wad of gup and get your holster up. I have to jerk I, off to suck a punch. In my life, I have never needed the antecedent of a pronoun defined more clearly. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? I, I'm okay, I forgot to ask Gary. you in the green room. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 let's air it. We uh, were talking I'm, about my injury more, so. I'm good. Uh, Olivia and I were playing the new uh, new old Mario today and having a lot of fun with it. I'm looking forward to playing that. I'm going to get that soon because I yeah. love that. That's one of my favorite Marios, if not my favorite. Yeah. So. It's uh, you know vastly overpriced, but very fun. I will pay. Gary will, will pay. pay. The price. Gary will pay the price. Justice will be served. Any price just not to get my Wii U out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Boy. Did I give that back to you? I probably did. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I think I do have it. The most I I probably put more time to that Wii U than you did, given that I tried to review Xenoblade Chronicles on it. Yeah, I'm, th- I'm thinking about that. Like, what did I play on that? I played Cat Mario. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I played a played little bit Nintendo of the Pac-Man Land. Game. Played a little Nintendo Land. Played through Super Metroid on the Virtual Console. Did mm-hmm. not play very much on the Wii U though. <laughs> so well, it's just possible I you mean, put more hours in on the Wii U. You did just name what forty percent of its uh, entire it library. Apps. So. Yeah. What a system here what on the a Game Boys. System. We're talking about Nintendo's greatest failures. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, this is a very good item that we're actually talking about, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's Eye of Belial. I love this item. I don't, but should. <gasps> you should. You definitely should. A lot of times, Gary, I don't know what the items do until I look at the wiki and then I find out, oh, that's actually good. Yeah, extremely good. Well, this this one signals you that's good because it makes your tears bigger at a point. And that's <laughs> usually, with like one exception, really good. I do like when tear get big. Me too. Big when t- big when tears small, angry, yeah. angry. When when tears small, can't have them all. When tear big, let's take a swig. God, Gary, you are really rocking your ketus today. 
<laughs> ram a dam a dam a dam a ding dong. <laughs> like, she stuck my butt with a big black stick and then proceeded to be sucking my dick. That that part it, of that uh, John Daly song is actually from, those are actually lyrics from Sir Psycho Sexy. Sure. It, it uh, would from be, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. I just had a moment there where I imagined what it would be like to wake up and the first thought in my head was, well, I'm still Anthony Kiedis. Yeah, got to do this. Yeah, got to uh, do this. <laughs> one day at a time. Can't just go be an accountant like I want. Nope. Yep. That cannot be Anthony Countess. What was that, um, Gary? Anthony Countess. Countess. <laughs> you got it wrong. <laughs> and Anthony Countess, that's just a name. I'm, I'm in recovery. Um, <laughs> I, Me and my band guys will oftentimes send the gif of Anthony Countess going, yeah, to each other. At, you know, Basically, if we don't know what else to say. It's, it's pretty fun. Just get that yeah, little yeah, gift of that shirtless man going, yeah. Gary, I'm so glad you made some new friends. Me too. It's like, it's pretty remarkable. It's like my yeah. first new friend since you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the club. The Law New dog. friends dropped. Like, I got, I got two new friends. Pretty cool. Law Dog and Drums. Law Dog. Oh, <laughs> come on. Brian Biggs. He's good. <laughs> He's not fucking Father listening, two. man. He, no, he won't. He likes he likes old games. He has a huge like collection of Nintendo games in his basement. It's pretty impressive. I mean, this is an old game. And he gets uh he gets together with some of his friends. He invited me to come over. They get together to play Tech Mobile and get drunk all night. Uh huh. And I couldn't do it the night he did it. And then uh, COVID happened the next year. <sighs> so that that would have been fun. Um, what this does is uh it gives you your tears piercing, and additional range, and once they pierce, they gain homing. They get bigger and they do double damage. So they have to hit one enemy, but once they do that, they become double damage tiers, which are spicy tier balls. I just feel like is I don't feel like the homing on this is strong enough to make it matter against bosses. No, no, this isn't for bosses. This is for room clearing. Yeah, you know you what, have, I, what I want is for this thing to like yeah. circle around and hit the boss. No, that'd be great. I mean, we all want stuff. Well. You almost called me Cole. <laughs> I, heard the, I heard the cu- <laughs> I heard the cu- What if I'm going to call you cuck? Oh, I mean, that would be uh We all want stuff, cuck. I mean, um. not even just that <laughs> it would be like a weird insult. It would also just be like real 2018. That would be pretty 2018. Who are you? Chris Harrison, host of The Bachelor? <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh. said that with the knowledge that you have no idea what happened probably with Chris Harrison of The Bachelor. I also don't know what The Bachelor is, so. <laughs> wow. I don't even own a TV. <laughs> I have a vague idea that's a dating show, but. Gary, it's a while. Like, we have culturally, because it's been on the air for 19 years, lost touch mm-hmm. with the fact that that is a show in which one man dates 30 women for mm-hmm. six weeks and then asks one to marry. He's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's speed marriage. Yeah. I've heard of speed dating. Anyway, you can read my article anyway. about Chris Harrison uh, saying some real stupid shit, so. Hmm. Yeah, viral marketing. Some yeah. buzz marketing for the AV Club. I don't care. I don't like Anything else you'd like to plug? Say. You can bleep it out. Uh, Gary, what else would I like to plug? Uh, my hair, right? <laughs> Going bald. Yeah. I'm I'm a real uh long-haired baldy right now. Yeah. You got a you got a real like um God, who am I thinking of? Uh that one guy from Game of Thrones. That, um, Gary, that you picked a TV show that has eight thousand. A lot of guys. Um, the one who did the red wedding, Walter oh. Frey, got a real Walter Frey situation going on with the baldness and the long hair. Thank you. He's a real fat <laughs> right? No, okay. nope. He's more of a cadaverous lich like character. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I my my look right now is I hate it so much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like scraggly beard, super long hair, still bald. Yeah, it's a bad combo. It's a bit you know? gimbo. It's a bit yeah. gimbo. What do you, uh, do you have any plans for your bald spot? Like in order, like you're going to go <laughs> shave or you're going to do a different kind of haircut? I'm going to, I'm going to put some loam down and try to grow a tree. Yeah. Like you can be like Harold from the later fallouts. Yeah. Well, even the, you know, fallout too, I wouldn't even call he it. He does have a little fallout. bit of a tree going. He does. Full tree. Um, uh, I don't consider fallout three canon. No, certainly not. There's that meme going around where it's like, get rid of one forever. And it's like Oblivion, Morrowind, New Vegas, and Fallout 3. And I'm like, hi. Oh, oh I, mean, I mean, that's yeah. tricky for me because I'd also like to remove Oblivion from existence. I, they're both, those are obviously the bottom two. Yeah. But I think I still might be Fallout 3. 
I don't know. Uh, in terms, I of mean, like, you just see the one with souls, and it's like, hmm, yeah, which one would I choose? <laughs> what a conundrum! I also love how they left two out of that because they're just like, eh, we know what internet will choose. Fucking internet, internet. Um, oh, I'm, I'm proud of the way that you uh, operate your bald spot. You have a dignity with that. I would like to hear more on this topic. Okay, I didn't know we we're, <laughs> we're 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 saving the file after every episode. So it's just like, oh, that would have been an awkward place for the computer to die. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that you just like it. It doesn't no, it makes you this. look like. No, I will. I'm, that's what I'm doing. It makes you look like you're your age. It doesn't make you look older than your age, and you're not like doing any kind of wizardry. Like you're not trying to comb over it. You're not trying to like. You're not wearing hats all the time. You know, thank you, Gary. I mean, yeah, at this point, I because I'm, I'm mostly keeping my hair in a ponytail most of the time, uh, mm. it is kind of pulling it back and over it. But that's not on purpose. That's just I hate having my hair in my face or on my neck. I had I had no idea that you're wearing a ponytail now, dude. <laughs> ponytail or everything. man bun or whatever. It, Gary, it's we down to my fucking the episode. shoulders. Uh, like, it's unwieldy. I haven't had a haircut. I in... knowing that you have a <laughs> ponytail. Gary, I haven't had a haircut in 10 months. There's a pandemic yeah. on. No, I know. I had two haircuts that month. I did once my own and once with somebody else. Congratulations, Mr. Fucking better. Moneybags. Mr. Risk. Mr. Risky. I'm Kevin Allison and this is Risk. This is Risk. Tell me about pervert stories. Doesn't he no, he's not always the sex stories. Uh maybe. No, I think he is. Yeah. Um, God, we got a rambling energy way, today, buddy. Way into BDSM too. Yeah. Um yeah, and we have really interesting items this week, but you know what? It's Valentine's Day, and it's Snyder <laughs> Cut Trailer Day. It is. We I'm not going to hold this. myself to any standards. So. Yeah, let's let's not gloss over that we have uh, left our significant others to come do mm-hmm. this on Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah, doing some work. Got to get a couple hours of the pod mines, baby. Hell yeah. Pod rest for no man. Dig out some fields. Yeah, digging out fields. Um, there's nothing else to say about this. The old devil. I think it's very good, uh, and I don't see it that often. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a pretty, it's a pretty red thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have pretty to beat Ultra thing. Greed uh, with Judas for this. Uh, mm-hmm. So also pretty hard to get. Cementing Judas as the best unlocks. Yeah. Uh, that you can get in the game. Um, if you like the show, head on over to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv and give us some money. Yeah, and just uh, toss us a little bit of, of cash. People on my well, fucking... Don't ray me. I'm gonna, I am going to plug, uh, you know, I, I stream pretty much every night at uh, mm-hmm. twitch.tv slash plumberduck, uh, where uh, a inordinate amount of Australian people uh, bully me to, to into trying to let them give me more, let them give me more money. Nice. Uh, it is nice, but uh, it is bullying. It, it's a yes. bunch of Australian people because they, uh, I stream super late. Uh, yeah. Well, and also it's nice to be bullied sometimes. At least you get attention. Yeah, it uh, it really makes me feel uh, confused. No, yeah. call That's back. A good feeling. Call back. Call back. Call back. Um, this is the first time I'm recording since uh, I had to take a week off. So mm-hmm. thanks everybody uh, who's listening who uh, did not get mad about this show did not slip, but every other show uh, either slipped is late or skipped an episode. I mean, Gary, I know um, that that is just a function of when we record getting lucky, but that's hilarious to me. I know. Well, th- you can hear it in the last recording I did with you. And then I thought I could push it for one more and you can hear it in that when I was like recording with Cole and I had to tap out mm-hmm. an hour in and just be like, I can't fucking do this. Um, so. Uh, Gary, you I'm want to review? To... Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, this one's from uh, Ran Out of Other Duck. Uh, five stars. Okay. Thank Master you. Bruce and a guy who paid to read Ready Player One talk, described by one of the hosts <laughs> as 10 minutes of unblinking blandness. Although I'd say that doesn't give enough credit to the battle where it's like a boxing match where Will lightly jabs at Gary in the form of KH, friends, or being able to enjoy music because it's fun. Gary just taking the hits and you think he will never be able to recover when, bang, he had a gun in his glove. rope dope The battle ends only to start again. Five. Out of 10. Nice. Yeah, we never asked for maximum stars, just five stars. Yeah, five. Well, we, we, I've been assuming that everyone thinks it's a scale of 100. So Gary, am I Master Bruce? Bru- realistic. Yeah, am I at Master Bruce in that, or are you? Because you're the one who often asks, says Master Bruce to me. Yes, but I'm also the one who took a college course where they made me read Ready Player One. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, dude. I wasn't Geography sure. I was like, video games. Elective. I was about to say, I fucking, I fucking got that from the library. 
Yeah, you got it for free. Smart. I mean, I paid for it and paid a class for it, so it's no good. No good. No good. And that's our famous catchphrase. Our, our sign famous catchphrase. No good. Sign. No good. <laughs> no good. Release the Snyder Cut again. Release the Snyder Cutter. No, I hate no, that I said come that, on, dude. I hate that I said that. So yeah, it's like some kind of fucking gross fraggle or something. <laughs>